Hi everybody, my name is Win. Today I'm going to make a short video to show you how to install an AutoDream cam angle sensor kit onto an RB engine. Please, before you do anything, please get a timing gun and record your base timing of your current setup if your engine is tuned and running. A very common problem that I've seen over the years with RB motor is they cause trigger errors in the high RPM. Sometimes they can actually break the shaft off the cam angle sensor because the mounting bracket is not perfectly aligned with the cam itself. Our trigger will work with all C18 DET engine, all RBs and VG30 engines. It will work with a newer RB25 Neo or R34 uh, GTRs. We don't use the spline drive anymore. Our sensor bolt up directly to the cam gear itself, to the back of the cam or in front of the cam. So we will eliminate any spline drive. When you order the kit, it will come in, in in three different components. A rotor that gets bolted to the cam. On the cam, uh, you see there's four bolt and a dowel pin. Our rotor will have that same pattern so that you can line it up. The back of the rotor will have a machined lip so that it centers itself onto the cam gear when you try to line it up. And there are five holes that you need to line up. One of them is a dowel pin. The sensor itself is a threaded type. Just in case your uh, cam gear has different thickness, you can adjust that air gap. The sensor is a plug and play so your existing wire will plug directly into the sensor. So now for the install you need to remove your old cam angle sensor, remove the four bolt that holds it in and you notice that there is a center uh, centering dowel pin there you need to line up with the rotor. Now with the new rotor installed make sure that the rubber seal around that timing belt cover is being used. If you don't want to use that, you have to at least use the spacers or else the sensor might hit the rotor. Now with the sensor and the bracket installed, manually turn the, the sensor all the way in until you feel that it bottoms out tighten up the nut by hand. Now you need to find a reference point. I usually just find a corner on a nut and then I back out the sensor about a quarter to a half a turn and then I just snug it by hand and then use a 14 mil wrench or a 916 wrench and just snug it up. For the wire when you order online they will come uh, pre-pinned so that it will work with the application that you order it for but in the event uh, that um, you have a different ECU especially the Haltech you will need to swap the gray and the green wire and to do that you just need a small pick and pry on the locking tabs inside very gently just pull it back and then slide the wire out from the back and then just swap the position and then that will plug right into your existing harness. After you do that, um, get a zip tie if you want to be safe and secure it so that it won't come apart in case your connector is old and it doesn't want to lock itself in. Now what you need to do is secure any loose wire to the front so that it clears your fan and your belt. Now you need to download the instruction from our website. 
under support and download and set that into your computer once you do that your engine should fire up if you have any further questions please leave a comment below or email us at info at autodream.ca thank you